All right, what is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a great day so far. If you guys are new, please subscribe. It really helps me out. Again, this is my K24 Turbo MR2. Now, it's still not running. It looks a little bit different now, as you guys can see, with the hood here. Um, I did trade with, on YouTube, you guys probably all know uh, Toge Time. He has a 2ZZ completely track modified MRS. And we did like a slight trade here just so he could have that. I do already have a new carbon fiber hood vent. I'll show you guys later. Um, so don't worry about it. I'm gonna wrap this one red, cut this one out again. And this time I'm gonna relocate the power steering reservoir that's in here. That way I don't have to cut out the hood insert again. So it'll be a lot cleaner this time. Other than that, it's gonna be exactly the same as the other one. Same placement, same everything else. And it's gonna be carbon fiber instead of the old fiberglass that I had on the previous setup. Now, like I said, still not running. I just didn't watch the previous video. Reason why it's not running is due to a bad misfire. I'll put a video in here right now. As you can see, it was misfiring pretty bad. I went through pretty much everything. Thank you guys all so much for the feedback that you guys gave me on the last post about why it may be misfiring and helping me try to get the issue resolved. I did data log and send it on over to my previous tuner that tuned this car so he can see what the issue may be. And while he's doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and um, take off the VTEC solenoid um, on my off time here and see if that's the issue as to why it's misfiring or if it's gunked up or not. Um, that's a pretty common issue on K-series engines or Honda engines in general with the VTEC solenoids. While we're doing that, this is a mod that I got. This is a part that I got a long, long time ago, probably more than a year ago. All right, so here's everything unboxed. The other things that you saw that I was getting out of the box, those are just some different sliders that I had stuck in that box. This is what you're gonna get. PSI bracket, super low profile, um, the side mounted rails, slider, obviously all the hardware. That little midship badge is something that someone gave me um, when I bought this. I bought it second hand, but it's basically brand new. Like I said, in the car, I have planted rails. These are the brackets that everyone gets. These are the PCI rails, super low profile. A lot of the issues that people run into when they wanna get sliders, and this is why I didn't get sliders originally, as I have the planted rails inside of my car right now. They're just fixed. Is because you end up sitting a lot higher and it gets you in a bad position compared to fixed brackets, especially for bucket seats like this. So when you get the PCI set up, it's supposed to get you a lot lower due to the main bracket and the slider design. And so it should mitigate any kind of issues that people run into when they usually install sliders. So that's what I'm hoping for here. Let's go ahead, get right into the install. All right, and we are finally, finally done. It's a long process, but we finally got it done. Here it is in all its glory. And guys, this is just as low as you can see. That's what I was worried about. I'm super, super happy with the product. Let me go ahead and show you guys the headroom real quick. All right, so here I am inside the car. Same, four or five inches or so. Might be a little bit more too. And I have the option to go all the way up, go all the way back. Oh, it is so nice to have sliders again, especially when people, you know, when I drive my car, I'm always like, I'm always upset. I'm like, oh, you know, I don't have the seat. I don't have the seat sliders, but with this, it's perfect. 
So put you guys over there. Now, put this in. You know, good seat positioning still. So good. Feels amazing. And you know, harnesses are still set up the same way. Feels so good to have sliders. It's awesome. All right, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Appreciate you guys' support through everything. I'm gonna get this thing up, running again soon. In terms of the slider quality, fitment was perfect. The universal options on the sliding brackets were perfect. I, I can't imagine you having, if you have a normal size seat, even even for my seat, it's really big because I'm a bigger guy, and my, my seat is pretty wide and it's still fit and accommodated with a little bit of room on the brackets as well. If you have a skinny seat, they apply those nylon spacers that you can use so you can fit it in. So, other than that, everything's great. The only complaint that I maybe have in regards to sliders is aftermarket sliders are never as smooth or as free as OEM, of course. Um, they still slide smooth, they don't make any noise, They're not, there's no rough spots, but you definitely wouldn't be able to just slide it back as you would with an OEM setup, of course. Other than that, Super happy about it. If you guys enjoyed this video, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out and please subscribe.